What's going on everyone? My name is Nicholas Merton and today we are on part 9 of my series on SQL and data analytics for beginners. So as now that we've created our first very own chart in Tableau, I want to go about actually talking about the next step. We've already covered dimensions and measures and that's what helped build us our first fundamental chart that's actually going to present us information in a viable way. Um, however, there's different ways that we can display our information. And what I mean by that is there's three categories. There's sheets, which we've already used. We've created a sheet where we created our sales over time. And just to point out, point out to you all, I did change the name so it specifies sales over time. And then there's also two other categories, which are dashboards and stories. And as I go along in utilizing them, I'm going to tell you all the differences between them. So let's jump right into it, guys. Before we use a dashboard or a story, we're going to want more than just one sheet. It just seems kind of plain and boring just to have this one simple sales over time chart. So let's, you know, produce some more visual analytics. So let's go down here to the first of the three icons where we can create a sheet. And as you can see, sheet two creates. Um, now what we're going to do in this case scenario, you know, I was thinking, you know, it's nice we got sales over time, but, you know, we got to really wonder if those sales were on the good side or bad side. So what's something that can measure that on a numerical basis? Ah, well, we could use profit ratio over time to see you know, whether or not we're making profits to really match that increase in sales or whatnot. So let's go ahead and do that. As we did in the previous, um, uh, previous sheet, we're just going to go ahead and click on order date. And we're going to expand that out to a weekly number. So we'll get more viable information. And then we're going to click two times on profit ratio. Now we've got pretty much a line chart like we had before. However, I think to really make it stand out um, on the scalability, I think I just want to go ahead and use an area chart. And there we go. So it really tells us, you know, for the most part, we're remaining in the profit zone. Um, however, uh, we do have a few parts where we're in the negativity on some weeks. So we can start getting some insights from this. And as I did in the previous chart, we're going to go up here and change the sheet name. Now this right here pretty much states that it will be the sheet name that we have down here. And you can click on that and change it as well. Just for simplicity's sake, in this case, I'm going to change it to profit ratio over time. Okay. Just go ahead and apply and click OK. All right, cool. So we've got our second sheet or our second chart. So now that we've created our two different sheets, we're going to put them onto what's known as a dashboard. Okay, so we're going to click here, and we've created a dashboard. So how does it work in importing your sheets into the dashboard? It's pretty simple. As you can see, it says drop, she uh, drop sheets here. So all we're going to do is just drag our sheets over, and we've got sales over time. And then we'll drag our second one. And as you can see, you have to hover it towards where you want it. So for example, I want it under. And there we go. So we've got our two different charts um, put onto one dashboard. And the dashboard is the first major step in putting multiple analytics together. Um, and just depending on what size you want it as well. So for example, there's a desktop browser um, and they've got all kinds of different ones as well. But we're just gonna stick with this, this should be fine. And we're gonna go ahead and go towards our story. Now what makes a story different than a dashboard? Stories are kind of the final step in analyzing and summarizing large scale information and really getting to write about it in a uh, text-based way and describing things. So for example, you can see right off the bat it says add a caption. And we can start adding things that pretty much talk about um, our information in a better way and we can start describing it through text. So we'll go ahead and we could drag our sheets much like we did in a dashboard, but I want to put my uh, dashboard in there. So there we go, we've got it right there. We can scroll through it. And for example, one this caption will say, um, Let's see, let's, well actually before we type anything, let's think about it, let's step back for a sec and think, you know, what insights can we get? Well, we can obviously see uh, from the looks of it that sales are slowly starting to increase over time. We're starting to see a growth in sales. There's obviously a slight curve there. And we can see that for the majority of time we're remaining a profit ratio. So let's go write those down. Go ahead here and we'll say, as we continue to expand, our company is seeing growth in overall sales and we're also maintaining profit 
throughout the majority of our lifetime. All right, cool. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead, we're gonna expand this because this is way too small. So we'll go ahead and drag that out. Oops. Awesome, right there. So we've got a little caption. We can change our story name. And as always, it's going to do the standard story name that we have down there. But we're going to name this um, Financial Summary. Click Apply and click OK. So we've got our first sheet here. And we've also got our first dashboard. And this really just kind of helps put together information that we can share with everyone, that we can share with our teams that we work with, with organizations, with viewers and customers to show them insights that they need to see, um, or at least get a, uh, a sense of trends that we're spotting. So it's really cool, guys. We haven't even gotten, like, stepped our feet wet into the different tools that Tableau allows us to use in order to make our information more, you know, uh, I guess more insightful. However, we're already getting some pretty decent insights from the information that we wouldn't have been able to get from just staring at a table. And that's really what I want to emphasize for this beginner tutorial is that visual analytics goes hand in hand with majoring large sets of data. You could not look at a sheet and look down thousands of things and say, oh, well, I obviously see a trend here. It's just, it's not that simple in most cases. Um, you'd have to spend weeks looking at it. Whereas this is instantly visual. We can see it right here and it's showing us obvious trends. So anyways, guys, that's it for the video. I'm glad uh, that you all at least have a decent understanding of the difference between sheets, dashboards, and stories. And next up in the next video, we're going to start talking about <clears throat> applying forecasts and trend lines and get really into the whole kind of predictability of, um, the predictability of uh, determining the future of maybe certain sales and information off of the data that we have. So anyways, guys, that's it for the video. I will see you all in the next video. Stay tuned.